So I'm nearly done welding this uh, tray. It came out pretty nice, I think. It's really strong. It's got these nice edges. But the one thing I want to do is add like a straight beam over here and here in the back, like over here somewhere. And maybe one in the middle as well, because the wheel will be around here somewhere. So that will be he pretty heavy. Same as at the back over there. So I just want to put a beam inside the trailer. So to give this a bit more support. So I've got the wheel chuck in. Got two bolts here at the front. And I want to put an extra support here. I'm going to weld this in here. And I can attach some bolts here as well. Over here. Bolted down the uh, tray, two bolts, fixed to the frame. I think that'll be enough. Um, and now I'm gonna put the chuck here at the front. And I've also added these two additional uh, cross members to give it some more support. So I've got to cut out some pieces to get the chuck in there. So Well, this is the original back panel. I've got these lights, these different ones, these are LEDs, because that one is broken. And these are just normal lights, so... I think I'm gonna modify this panel. Make it like, cut it in half, over the length, and then attach it to this. Maybe in a way that I can remove it. Don't know if I want that, but maybe for storage, it could be easy. But as you can see, this is sticking out from the sides of the trailer. So I'm going to take this off. So I'm just going to take off this end and the top, and then I'll, I'll bend it backwards. I'm going to add the light here. This is the front. So this is like a white light. Just gonna drill some holes. And I've already run these wires through the frame. So I pushed it in through here so it's nice and protected. I think it came up really nice. Now I did make a small mistake. That is, I got there's a, a thing that's over here to uh, raise these legs. So I've got them, um, I've got this plate in front of it. And it's easily removed with three bolts, but uh, that will be cumbersome. So I'm thinking of just flipping these around. They're attached over here with the bolt. It's got a little plate. So I'm thinking I'm gonna flip them around and then I can do it from from this end. So from the parts from the caravan, uh, I've made this little piece and I'm gonna weld it here to the frame. And then that's done.
got this old piece of wood and I marked out lines over there and there. I'm going to do a cutout Then I'm going to put those two sides together and that will be my mold on which I can make a, I don't know how you call that in English, but like this thing over here to protect the wheels and keep the spray from going everywhere. So I think this should be an okay dimension. I'm going to cut this out, put it together and see if we got that. So this is what I've done, I cut out these notches so it'll be easier to bend it. Well, this is how it came out. Just a few quick welds. And yeah, it's actually starting to look like something. I made this edge nice because it was sticking out. I cut off like a section of this because it was sticking out too far. Now I'm just going to cut these pieces here a centimeter. And then I can fold this end to make it nice and strong. So this is the next thing I'm going to do. Okay, now this is how it came out. I think it's gonna work really well. Made it a lot stronger and less sharp. Do a small cut. Yeah. So I need to mount this now. I'm just gonna do a round bar, I think, around here. So he who keepeth, he gets. I found these. These are from, I think, an old bed, something. And they are just perfect. It can go right like that. So all I need to do is take off uh, this piece, and then this will be parallel with the trailer, and take uh, shorten this so it'll be parallel with this thing. Got this nice end cap put that on there. I've already got this nice sort of piece in between so all I need to do is drill some holes here, drill some holes there, attach it and I'm done. Ta-da! It's like it was made for it and it's really strong now, look at that. So I was going to use this the second one at the back but I really don't have to because this is so strong so I'm just going to do a bolt through here. I think it came out really nice. And I'm glad I did this reinforced edge. It looks better. It's got a nicer and less sharp end to it. It's stronger. Yeah, it just looks better. So pretty chuffed with that. That is the uh, one of the wheel arches done. It was a bit more work than I thought. I do like how it came out. Put a bolt here on the side of the car 
and I've got the bracket here at the front, and as you can see, this is really firm. And yeah, it only takes three bolts removed, and I can take the entire thing off. So I can easily put the, uh, the trailer up on its side, and it won't be in the way. So all I have to do is make another one. <laughs> Took me, I think, two, three hours to do this. Of course, I was thinking and planning with this. Now I know what to do. Already got this bracket made, so I can do this hopefully a bit quicker. But um, I've got my mold, which I can use. So that's what I'm going to do now. But I really like how it came out. I still have to prime this and give it a paint job. Uh, but this will work. This will keep the rain from spraying up. It will protect the wheel. And of course it will protect others from the wheel. So IKEA, thank you for that. And uh, let's make the other one. This is the panel that I will be using to make the, uh, the second wheel arch. I really enjoy using stuff like this because you could just throw this away or you could just put in some time and effort and make something useful out of it. So uh, let's get cracking with this. Thank you. 